Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to discuss another way to execute your Postman collection in Newman. So here I am on the Postman Labs Newman in the GitHub repo. Okay. And this is the link basically. So github.com Postman Lab slash Newman. And you can find this out when you Google for the Newman, right? So basically, if I simply go to the say Newman run collection in, in Google or Bing, whatever, and then you will be able to see the link here so basically a blog post run and test your collection so you'll see a lot of blog posts already there available on the postman website and this is what we were referring right so we installed newman and then we downloaded the or we exported the json for the collection and we executed it manually right offline now how can we also do through the postman api right so if we want to execute using the uh, postman api so that the execution results are logged into the postman uh, uh, postman account that I'm signed in so then you can use postman API to retrieve the latest version of the collection and then also the environment so let's understand how we can basically do that so you'll see that Newman run and then we can put the collection details with the API key right and then we'll be able to execute right now this is the collection URL along with this because in our case we have the environment as well so we need to get the environment details as well and Postman API will help us to get the collection ID details, the environment details, everything, right? So if you go and get the API key, how you can get the API key? So from Postman, right? If you have signed up, you will see that from your account, okay, I can go to settings directly. Okay, so from the account, from the icon here, go to manage account and go to settings and it will open the Postman account. Or you can simply go to the Postman, web.postman.com um or a web postman version and just sign in and you will be redirected to your account page right so now here in the left hand side you will see that we have the option for api keys right so i'll go ahead and click on the api keys and you will see all the api keys that i have generated are available here okay so you'll see these are the api keys now these api keys are hidden right so you whatever you see in the last is basically xxx so they are you can't just copy and paste these api keys these are not the actual api so in order to reuse for example a particular api key you have to either generate a new api key okay or whatever you have generated you just go ahead if you don't have a copy of it i'll go ahead and simply click on the ellipses here and click on regenerate okay so now i'll say delete the existing key now okay and then regenerate api key as soon as i'll click on regenerate you will see the api key got generated okay i'll copy this to clipboard all right and you will see that make sure you copy this api key this is the only time you will see it unencrypted okay otherwise it will be always shown as encrypted so make sure you copy it okay now what i'll do is now we have got the api key so let me quickly open notepad and i'll paste the api key there so guys don't try to use the api key that i have generated because i'll be anyways deleting all of these api keys once the tutorial is complete so try to sign up for your own account postman account and then work with all of this learning okay so we have the api key now what next so if you go to this github newman right you scroll down you'll get all the documentation about the newman so here we'll see all of the command line option api reference etc everything is available there so if we go to api reference okay and just scroll down how we can basically go ahead and execute the test case okay. so there is a section using newman with the postman api right so we have used newman by exporting the collection as a json format from postman and environment as a json format from postman so offline execution but we can also go ahead use it with the postman api okay so for that first step is generate an api key which we have already generated we have saved it we have, we have that api key. the next thing is because there are postman apis available we can hit this particular api okay the api.getpostman.com collections and then the api key it will give me all the collection that are there in my postman account okay so what i'll do is i'll go to postman okay and simply I'll fetch all the collections, right? So let me create a new collection and I'll name it as Postman API, okay? And in here, within here, I'll add a request to get the collections, right? So I'll say, I'll put that particular collection there, or sorry, the endpoint there, okay? 
and I'll say get collections, okay? Because this is the endpoint to get the collections. Now we have to provide the API key, right? So API key we have to provide where we can update that. So basically API key as, as soon as you will see that this is the query parameter starting with question mark and then here we have to provide the value, right? So what value, whatever API key that we have. So I'll simply copy that API key, provide it as a value there, okay? And then you will see that API key is being added there, okay? I'll save it and then here, I'll select no environment, okay, because this is not specific to Jira, this is the Postman API and send it. So now I should be able to see the response, you'll see 200, okay, and all the collection with the IDs and details are there, okay. So you'll see the name API test Jira Cloud, okay, and the ID is available, all right. So you'll see all of the detail about all of the collections that are there in my account, okay. So this is this is one of the collection or this is the collection that we are looking for API test Z Jira cloud. Okay. Now the next step is so we have got the collection. So let me go to the postman collection and I'll duplicate this request and go to the documentation here. So the next step is get the collection link via its UID. Okay. So now if I just append a UID, UID okay, so I'll copy this link. Okay. And in the postman here, I'll replace this and then I have to replace the API key. The first thing is the API key. So let me copy the API key and in the query parameters, I'll update the API key here. Okay. And the UID of the collection. All right. So UID of the collection where you will get the UID of the collection. This is the ID of the collection, right? So this is the ID. So I'll simply, uh, sorry, not the ID, the UID. This is the UID. Okay. It clearly says that you have to use the UID. Okay. So I'll replace the UID. To get the collection link okay so now in order to get the collection link i'll copy this uid all right and i'll replace that uid okay and what this will give me is this will give me the collection link that i want to basically execute okay so i'll say okay this is the get collection link all right so this is the specific uid of the collection and this is the authorization part which is the api key okay so this will give me what this will give me the collection link all right so if you see here i have got all the details about this particular collection so basically this is what my collection link is okay now the next thing is obtain the environment right so because jira api that we are running will require an environment because we need to choose a particular Jira environment which I am signed in for to execute it, right? So for getting the environment, this is the endpoint. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and copy this, all right? And here we'll go to the collection and we'll add a new request. Okay. So I'll say add request is a get call. And then here we have to pass on again the API. Okay. So I'll simply copy the API key there and paste it there. Okay. And this is the get environment. Now this will get me all the environments, okay, that are there. Okay, so if I send this, you will see that if we see that the environment, first one is RCV tutorials and the second one is RCV Academy Live. This is what we were working with, okay. So now if I have to get the URL for this second one, okay, what I have to do is using the collection and environment URIs acquired in steps three and four, then we can go ahead and run the collection like this from the Newman. Okay. So basically why we are getting this UID and the collection ID, etc., or, or basically the environment ID just to let Newman know that basically, yes, Newman has to go to the Postman API with the particular API key and the collection UID. And then this particular, the environment UID with the particular API so that Newman gets the authorization and is able to fetch the collection from the postman okay using the postman API and execute it okay so now how we are going to so here from here we know that this is the UID for the environment RCV Academy live okay so now I'll copy this UID all right and then I'll paste it here and form the environment URL okay so what is the environment URL that I have to use you will see this is the environment URL so I have to append after environment slash the environment URL and then the API okay so I'll simply copy it so let me formulate those environment and here I'll simply copy this UID okay paste it there and then the key right so key is basically this okay so this is the environment URL right now the other one is the collection URL. 
right so what will be the collection url the correct collection url will be we have already formulated that so get collection link so specific collection right so this is basically collection then the uid of the collection and then the api key so i can simply copy it and it here okay so this is the collection link that we have got right a specific collection uid followed by the api key for that particular postman instance for your postman instance and then the environment uid followed by the api okay now if you follow this particular document here how we have to run it we have to simply say newman run provide the collection that we want to run followed by hyphen e and the environment url or double hyphen environment and the environment url okay so let's go to newman and try to run this okay so i'll simply clear it okay and then what is the command basically the command is newman run and then start typing in the command so i will simply say newman run and first url will be your collection url okay so in double quotes put the collection url all right followed by environment okay and in double quotes the environment url okay so i'll copy the environment url and paste it there okay that's pretty much it that's it that's the only thing that you need in order to run the postman collection through newman and postman api right so this is more of a online it will basically update the execution in your postman account as well right so i have used double hyphen environment i can also say hyphen e as i did previously okay so let's run it and then see that it works exactly the same way as we have done the offline execution. so you'll see that yes it is it has fetched all the details and then the execution has happened successfully so first one iteration how many requests uh, test scripts pre-request scripts assertions etc everything has been logged in here right so all of the steps have passed successfully now what is the benefit of running this through the postman api obviously you will consume right so if you go to your account here right so here in the details you'll see that now i have hit 69 right so 69 out of 1000 apis okay api request so this is basically this is counted as a api uses postman api uses because i am using the postman api in order to run it right so you'll see that this is the api that i'm hitting okay so any time that i'll hit a send request this will be basically counted so if i say okay send this particular request go to postman and see if it is changed to seven okay so if i refresh it you'll see it has hit to 70 right so it, it's counted so similarly when you are running it through newman so what happens is this this request will be counted get postman collection will be counted as one request and then environment as another request so that's how the api counting is or apis are being counted right so only you have thousand api usage right so you'll see that you number of postman api requests that you have made i think it resets every month so thousand will be available which is ab absolutely good for the learning purpose so this is briefly how you are going to execute the postman collection using newman okay and how you are going to fetch the api key and the collection id through the postman apis and also the environment api uh, environment ids and then run through newman your postman collection okay i'll highly recommend going through this documentation here this is the newman documentation right but i'm anyways covering the most important aspect that you will need in your api test automation journey anyways but still it's always better and good if you are able to learn whatever uh, is required for the api tester and want to dig deeper and advanced section go ahead and read this documentation there are many other attributes and aspects that you will be able to learn through this particular documentation from the newman api reference okay post my api so that's all for this video in the next video we'll understand about few more things about i hope this was helpful thank you very much